In this problem, we have to find the exact value of the real number y. So the way to do this is to first apply the definition of the inverse function. So if the sine inverse takes this number and gives you y, this means that the sine of y is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. So step one, I always like to uh, rewrite it this way. Then, I, personally, I think it's a good thing to make a note of what y is. So y is in, and this is from memory. So this is the range of arcsine. So negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. This is probably the most important part of this problem. It's uh, memorizing the range uh, for each inverse trig function. So for inverse sine or arcsine, it's this one. So now you can think about the unit circle and you can ask, okay, what is the angle y that's between these two angles such that the sine of y is equal to the square root of 2 over 2? So if you think about the unit circle, here's negative pi over 2 and here's pi over 2. So you're looking for an angle that's between these two and it has to be positive. So it has to be up here, right, because the result is positive. And on the unit circle, sine is the y-coordinate. So the angle is going to be pi over 4. And so the answer here is pi over 4. It's really easy to mess up because, you know, if you didn't know this, right, you could say, oh, what about 3 pi over 4? You know, 3 pi over 4 also satisfies, you know, this equation. If you plug in 3, uh, 3 pi over 4 into the sine function, you're going to get this, right? So... Why isn't it not an answer? It's because it's not between these numbers. So it has to be here. So without this, um, you might get the problem wrong. So it's super important to memorize uh, the range. That's it.